Good morning, Hellions. I'm just going to jump right into it because that's how my day is. I'm jumping into my day. Uh, bolt extraction, and I'm being subcontracted by one of our local shops to get it done. So that's awesome news. It's a beautiful day. The sun is back. So, hey, at least it's some uh, pool warming weather for this weekend. This weekend is supposed to be really warm, which is perfect because it'll give Phoenix time to uh, go into a nice warm pool. Anyway, okay, we're doing it. We're doing the day. That is done. That was an amazing job. And because I was being subcontracted, I didn't bring the camera with me or whatever. But <clears throat> I guess if you think about it, every customer is a subcontract. But anyway, that's, that's beside the point. That is not the point. The point is, thank goodness for the correct tools, experience, and talent. And a little bit of uh, lubrication. <laughs> so here's a little known fact. Uh, let's see, car wash. Car wash. I don't know which one to go to. Oh, please form two lanes. This is so confusing. When I go and get my oil changed, I get a uh, slip for a free wash. And we're gonna figure out what that includes today, I guess. Once the green light shines on the other side, you're good to go. Okay, cool. All right, brother. All right, thanks. All right, so here we go. This is just the, uh, the basic uh, wash. No thrills. Ah. Oh. I'm not driving so I can hold on to this thing. So yeah, so every time I get the oil change from the dealership, they go and give me a coupon and I told myself I wasn't going to come back to Classy Chassis because of things that happened previously. Oh. People use these all the time and their paint's okay, right? Oh, this is funny. It's always worried me about like car washes is having the paint like get chipped off and scratched and stuff, but I don't know, we're okay. We're all right, we're all all right. It's like sandblasting my paint job. Oh look. They're doing a dance. <laughs> Whee! I can tell you one thing that I've noticed is different. The windshield is clean, and that bird poop that was on there the other day is gone finally. <laughs> so there is that, and it was free. So I guess we're all right. Oh, I think she's just about done. That looks so much I have better. To do all the inside still. Oh. And then I have to do the outside of the next two and a half panels this way, <laughs> and then I have to do the insides. So are you at the point right now to where it's like, oh my gosh, why did I ever start this? Nope. Oh, okay. Good. I would be. It looks a lot better than this. That's, that's disgusting. That's the reason why I am okay to do this, because it, it brightens it up. It look a little more upkept. Now we just have to fix that. I have to fix that. But okay. I have a solar panel put into, so that's some pretty janky. Pretty janky. <gasps> Pretty ratchet. Yeah, pretty ratchet. Wow, ratchet and janky. All right, so to the solar panel we go. Onward. This way. And then this way. And then through there. So here we go. A uh, bracket for uh, panel has been bent exactly like the other one. It's been drilled out and put there. And again, I wish that I had a metal shop to make this easier. 
but I don't. So here's the old panel. You guys see what I mean about the box on the back of it being smaller? So this is the uh, exact same thing that I did to this one here. Um, I'm actually using a little bit, uh, not as rigid metal. Um, almost some of it was because I just got the wrong piece, but it doesn't matter. But this does. I need to clean the roof tile right here. In here too, just to, for good measure. Because that's how I got this thing to seat down here, is I just caulked it like crazy. One solar panel, caulked, and I unwire tied, just like this one over here. And that goes into place right there, just like that, and like that, and like this. Because I always forget to film things when I'm doing it because I just want to get my project done because you guys know how hard it is for me to concentrate and get projects done <laughs> uh, both solar panels are permanently mounted screws are tightened uh, the cord is uh, began I'm beginning to run it and there's the hole in the side right there and then yes I do have some black caulk to put into the hole to fill it up so it doesn't leak so we're done. All the modifications are done. There's two things that I do have to fix. I won't get into those today, but this is what we've done. So we've got the automatic door that has been working, opens at five, closes at 9.30. The chickens come and go, and it keeps out the predators, and we don't have to do anything. Don't even have to think about it. It just happens, which is awesome. We had the camera inside so that we can uh, look and make sure all the chickens are in and accounted for. We have the uh, automatic cups down here, which goes along the tube here to the rain barrel, which is painted black so that it won't let that much light in. So the algae won't, uh, won't grow as much. And then we've got the fish in there. We still have uh, four fish and uh, the fish help with the algae production. I showed you that yesterday. Second solar panel is done and installed. I just have to caulk around the hole. Um, and then the second battery is installed. This right here is the timer for the lights so that uh, the chickens have more lights in the winter time to help with uh, winter time egg production. This right here is the uh, solar uh, charger. So this takes the uh, power from the uh, solar panels and uh, charges and regulates the batteries. This right here is the uh, controller for the uh, chicken coop door, which by the way, also has remote control key fobs so we can open them from anywhere inside the house. Uh, this right here, I just got through feeding them. This right here is the automatic chicken feeder. And it goes through the tubes uh, right down there. You can see over there and, and back over there, right there. And then we're not using this. This isn't hooked up right now. This is the only power that we have ran to it in the winter time for the uh, de-icer in the uh, the water bucket and the, uh, the tubes. So yeah, that's it. Awesome, can you see that? It's not dark yet. So I wanna clean up this mess and uh, I'm gonna go help my wife make dinner. Alrighty guys, it is not tomorrow yet. It is still today. So that means that I'm kind of ahead of the game right now. Uh, tomorrow we pick up Phoenix and tomorrow I've got one more appointment and then the weekend begins. And it should be good weather. There should be the surprise for Phoenix. Two surprises actually. <laughs> Angie just killed the music. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so yeah, there should be uh, two surprises for Phoenix, that's why we can't tell you guys. Um, and then, uh, I don't know, fun stuff. We're gonna have a fun weekend, right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, that's it guys, happy haunting. See you tomorrow, good night. Bye.